The concept evolved that the, uh, the walkway would be a map of the Black Warrior River from that point on Manderson Landing that ran into where the sculpture was, uh, all the way down to where the Black Warrior empties out into the Tom Bigby down in Demopolis. Alongside that walkway with the bronze map of the river, embedded into it would be um, bronze text of significant moments of 200 years of Tuscaloosa. The process we're using for this piece is uh, resin bonded sand molds, uh, wherein basically you have a pattern that you then mix up a bunch of silica sand with resin, and then you pack it all around your pattern, you remove the pattern, leaving a void, and then you close your mold back up, and then you pour the metal into that void, and you bust off that sand mold, so it's a one-time thing. You retrieve your metal, hopefully fully cast, and then you clean up all that stuff and put it all together. The river itself, it's about 200 pieces uh, that are all welded together, and it's in 13 sections to go along with uh, concrete expansion joints and things like that. So each of those 13 sections are made up of between you know, 10 to 15 or 16 pieces that all get welded together. 